हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक इन द कंटिन्यूशन ऑफ द लेक्चर सीरीज टिल नाउ वी हैव लर्न अबाउट द बेसिक ऑफ द इंटीग्रेशन एंड द इंटीग्रेशन नोड दिस ऑल बेसिक थिंग एंड व्हाट आर द टूल वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न इन द अपकमिंग क्लासेस दिस ऑल थिंग बेसिक वी हैव कवर्ड इन डिटेल नाउ इन दिस लेक्चर आई एम गोइंग टू डू इंस्टॉलेशन ऑफ इस वर्जन 12 toolkit now if you want to uh, do installation of iib version 10 then you can follow my the uh, lecture series of the another lecture series there is on the a iib then here at there at that point i have uh, done the installation so you can go there apart from that if you want to uh, do the installation of mq explorer rfs util and the uh, other applications then you can uh, get my video on a youtube channel you can okay now let's start the installation so for the installation you can have two way you need to go to the ibm website and you have to write here the in the google chrome that is the iib version 12 is version 12 download okay once you light right you have to do some uh, login process after that login you can download this 12 as win10 developer this will be the zip file that you are going to download still if you are not able to download you don't need to worry about that i am going to provide the link of this zip file in the drive and you can just open the uh, link into google chrome and after that you can do installation download of download the file and after that install it so once you go through my the link and and click on download once your download has completed because i have already downloaded it what you have to do you have to right click and do the extract of the file so you have to extract file okay because i have already extracted the file once you extract the click on extract file it will came like that i have already extracted the file then we have to click on in go inside the this file extracted file we have you can see these are the file format there is a one application file which is this and that we are going to use for in the installation okay just right click and open it now installation process has been started and it will take it will may take a time because uh, you know uh, there is a step process one by one for the installation then it may be take a time initially if you are downloading any one product then you have to agree the terms and conditions so agree the terms and condition click on install now the installation process has been started you can see it is processing something like that it will take some time because it is the initially starting it lots of file that is going to import inside the toolkit because you can use while writing the code you know while writing the code we have a auto suggestion like that came and this all because we have extracted the library thing while installation of the toolkit apart from that lots of feature came inside the toolkit because we have imported a lots of feature <coughs> lots of feature inside it at that reason it's take a time okay you can see it is uh, going you can see lots of file is going to the importing so let's wait for the few second i just fast forwarded the uh, process step because it will take nearly 
10 to 15 minutes it's depend on the system uh, because my system is of the ram 4 gb that it may be take a time but it depends on your <coughs> system performance it may be uh, download earlier but so so but you don't need to uh, panic about that it may takes uh, it may takes uh, 15 to 20 minutes so you don't need to worry about it i just fast after that you will get like that installation successfully completed now here is your option to close just close it simply we have to just agree the condition after that we have to just click on the uh, installation after that once it, it will take uh, 15 to 20 minutes around uh, because uh, depend on the system performance my uh, laptop for, uh, is not so much good it is your 4 uh, gb ram so it will take a time for me but you can it can take uh, less time for you also okay now uh, once after that it will tell installation successful done now we have to search here app connect enterprises you can see there is two options is coming ibm app connect enterprises this is the application and this is the console similarly in the last time if you remember therefore iib for it is same if you ibm agar if i search you can see this is the ibm integration toolkit version 10 that was the toolkit for the iib version 10 and there is a console for the integration node version 10 okay similarly for the version 12 you can see this is the application and this is the console okay now let's open the iib toolkit version 12 as i am working on the local system the i can run it as an administrator the benefit is that we can do anything inside it once we open it as an administrator the i always prefer to run as an administrator while i am working on the local system in parallel let's me open the console itself see how it is looking you can see it is coming like that s12 a c e 12 this is the s12 console which will look like that and here we can write any commands like that mqsi list anything as per my convenient i can write it it will give the output currently there is no integration node no integration node has been defined i have not created any integration nodes so it is giving like that but once i created the integration node it will show the integration node here okay so this is the console of the s12 now let's go on the uh, toolkit on the toolkit it will ask you to give the location where you want to store the uh, file of the uh, your uh, message flow the, here you have to give the location of the IBM workspace uses the workspace directory to store the preference and the development artifacts uh, again the, whatever the message flow you, you are going to create you have, you have to give the location where you want to store so I don't want to store in the C drive because my in C drive there is no, not, not such more space then let me uh, create a, here a file i am going to give this uh, location under the mq explanation uh, let's uh, open this let me create here the s12 s12 and let go here let me give a d drive because in d drive i have a sufficient space and so till here okay and under that workspace I'm going to again create a file which name is workspace inside the uh, s 2 because you can write directly the, here the file name it will be going to create that location okay now click on launch now again you can see workspace file has been created because I have written while uh, giving the file name now you can see it is opening now it's each installed successfully and it is launched successfully once you install it a welcome screen will be came you have to just simply uh, 
across this Volcom stream. Now it is the whole setup has been done for the IIB. Uh, sorry, so for the IBM apt connect enterprises toolkit. And this is the place where we are going to use in the whole lecture series to create the message flow, to design the pattern, to define write the code, everything we are going to use this place. And again for the S console, I am going to use this S12 console, apt connect enterprises console. Now these two I am going to use in the whole lecture series. So hope you have enjoyed the installation. Let me go through the uh, this what are the you can see there is a, some area this and there is some area this and there is some area this and there is area this whole integration toolkit is divided into the four part that's a part one part two part three and the part four so what are the diff, uh, uses of this part four let me quickly give you the intro this part is the uh, the area where you used to create the application create the message flow create the uh, uh, libraries create the subflow these all thing we are going to create in this area we are going to create the application we are going to create the integration services we are going to create the rest api we are going to create the library these all thing we are going to create how we are going to create you don't need to worry about that we are going to cover each and every topic in detail in the upcoming classes okay this is the area where you know that you know already in the previous lecture i have told you inside the application we have a message flow the inside in this area we are going to design the message flow and apart from that we are going to write the code now this is the area we are going to write the code that is the esql code a standard extended ext structured query language this is the area where we have a all the thing like that the integration node integration server application and the message flow now this is the area where we are going to deploy the application inside the integration server or you can say that execution group then what is the this area this area is used for the uh, for to get the properties of this message flow you know yeah, every message flow has some property like that let's take a simple flow like that uh, having some mq input note in mq input note we have uh, the queue name you have the some property like that the uh, message <coughs> uh, what are the uh, transactions some, something and what are the uh, lots of property inside the each node is there so what are the node properties present inside the each node you can see from here itself and apart from that we can see that what are the deployment deployments log if you are if any in if you were deploying this application inside the integration server if you are getting uh, some error you will get the log here itself okay now, this is the workspace toolkit of ibm app connect enterprises and this is the console and hope you have enjoyed the lecture in the next classes we are going to create this message flows and applications and we are going to see in detail thank you thank you all hope you have enjoyed the lecture bye bye